All right, USFL Week Eight. I know. Um, since the games do indeed start on Friday, we're gonna do a little Thursday, you know, Thursday, you know, preview for you all. And it's Week Eight. Um, playoff spots, you know, are far and few in between. There's only two left, and one team's been eliminated. Two teams have locked up their spots. So. Really, the only question now is: is uh, how how are we gonna how are we gonna get you know how are we gonna get those last two teams? And you're not gonna find the answer on Friday night. Pittsburgh, New Jersey. Uh, the early odds have New Jersey favored by eight and a half. The over under here forty two and a half. The Ballers are one of those teams trying to stave off elimination because they are. You know, they are in the same division as New Jersey in the North Division. And uh, they're just trying to stave off elimination right now. And if they can beat New Jersey, you know, if they can beat Luis Perez and this vaunted New Jersey defense. And, you know, uh, I'm saying if. And I, it's probably not going to happen because I do, I do think New Jersey will win this game pretty comfortably. Um, really... Really, for the generals, it's uh, it's probably just about you know trying to get healthy, you know trying to you know try to get ready for the playoffs. You know, winning this game is still a priority, but definitely want the playoffs. You know, playoffs are more in line with what needs to be going on. And you know, Kirby Wilson, he he's had a bad season. He's had a bad season where I think everybody has called him out on his you know decision making, and you know. Do you keep badly in? Do you start rolling rivers? You know what? What's the deal? Because Pittsburgh, you, you, Pittsburgh's you know gonna need to get to the playoffs. They're gonna need, you know, they're gonna need a way to get to the playoffs, and they gotta they gotta have a plan. And if they don't have a plan, you know, then somebody else will take that spot. So you know these division matchups, these last three weeks of the season, are gonna be key. And you know, Pittsburgh, if they want to save their season. You know, they got to do something. They got to do something to stave off elimination. Uh, but I have New Jersey winning this game, and I think Pittsburgh will be eliminated by default, you know, on Friday. Saturday, it's the it's the only game that matters this weekend, really. New Orleans, Birmingham, with Birmingham only favored by three. The over-under here, 44 and a half. Undefeated Birmingham, two lost New Orleans. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see some more flash. You know, some more flashy stuff from Bo Scarborough. Um, reminder, there is no Victor Bolden for the Stallions, I believe. I believe he is injured for the rest of the year. And I believe the Stallions wide receiver core has gotten pretty thin, so they're going to need some help. Um, I do apologize if I get that if I got that wrong, but that, that's what I've read. Um, so the Stallions are kind of thin at wide receiver right now. They're kinda, they've been kind of skating by, in my opinion, the last couple weeks, so I think we could be due for an upset. I think we could be due for an upset because I think Kyle Sloter has to break his A game for this one. And, you know, this is easily going to be the best game of the weekend. It's the only game really that, you know, means anything this weekend because New Orleans, you know, they could you know, put themselves in a good position and, you know, potentially lock up a spot in the postseason, you know, if they can beat Birmingham this weekend. But if not, then uh, there's still time. Or somebody else to lock up their bid to the postseason. Sunday, really, you know, this game does indeed matter, but it's it's a question of you know, you know what what, what kind of game are we gonna get? As Michigan Philadelphia leads us off to start Sunday, Philadelphia is favored by five and a half. The over under here is forty seven and a half. And I wonder, can Case Cook is lead the Stars to a playoff? Earth this week and they punch a ticket you know with Channing Stripling Jordan Moore on the defensive side of the ball I think I think the Stars have a great opportunity but Michigan you know they they fought they continue to fight hard throughout the season and if they lose this game and Michigan does indeed lose this game and Philadelphia locks up a playoff spot this week and I mean that that could that could prove to be dangerous that could prove to be very very dangerous and that would eliminate Pittsburgh as well, but honestly, you know, Pittsburgh will probably eliminate themselves by losing to New Jersey. But, you know, I think the Panthers are going to need more, you know, 
if Josh Love is going to be the guy for the rest of the year, then he's going to have to do some more. I think, you know, Reggie Cortman, he's going to have to help out too. You know, he, he's been a dynamite player this year. Corbin has been. And, I mean, the, the Panthers are just, you know, they're, they're lucky to still be in this thing because otherwise, you know, Otherwise, it's just been it's just been a rough year. You know, it's been a rough year for the bottom three teams in the league: Pittsburgh, Michigan, and Houston. Who, you know, I don't think a lot of people expect Houston to be towards the bottom. I think, you know, but it's 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 been that bad for Michigan. It's been that bad for Houston. It's been that bad for Pittsburgh. And I think uh, you know what? I do think Philadelphia will win this game. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Uh, I. I do think it'll be by a touchdown, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, like, you know, Michigan messes things up with the last play of the game again type deal. You know, I, I just think, you know, Philadelphia has what it takes. And I think they'll lock up that second North Division playoff spot. And then last but not least, Houston, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is favored by five and a half, the over under here, 44 and a half. And what kind of game are we going to get from Jordan Tamu? You know, what kind of game are the Bandits going to get? Because the Bandits need to stay on pace with New Orleans. And, you know, Houston's already eliminated. So, you know, Kevin Sutherland's gambler's got to do something to play a full four quarters in this game. You know, and maybe knock off Tampa Bay. But I, I don't see that happening, in my opinion, either. I do think... Tampa Bay will with this game, so I'm going. I'm a hit. I'm hitting. You know, I'm, I'm going up with New Jersey, Philly, and Tampa Bay. But the real big one is New Orleans and Birmingham, and I do think that New Orleans will get the upset this week. Just in case, you know, you misheard me. I do think New Orleans will get the upset this week. I'm God, God. If if not, then hey, it is what it is. And Birmingham would have, you know, Birmingham, you know, would you know just continue to keep on rolling, but. Again, best game of the weekend is New Orleans Birmingham by far. Uh, don't get me wrong, Michigan, Philadelphia, Houston, Tampa Bay. More intriguing, you know, with the playoff scenarios and stuff like that. And also Pittsburgh, New Jersey are intriguing as well with the playoff scenarios. But again, you know, Houston's been eliminated from playoff contention. Michigan is bad. Pittsburgh is bad. You know, you want to you, if you want to watch the USFL this weekend, you better stick to New Orleans Birmingham. So, you know. That that's it. That's all I got. Uh, until then, I'll see you all later on this weekend to talk this weekend to door football because we got a lot to talk about there. And cannot wait to see y'all again soon. And have a happy weekend.